In this series, we'll create scripted interactions to take Gizmos to the next level. We are going to start with a teleport script to introduce you to the elements of scripting. Teleporting around your world can be a lot of fun, and it can be extremely useful. For instance, respawning someone who falls through your world. To do this, we are going to pull out a trigger gizmo and stretch it out extra wide below our world. We will also need a script gizmo, which we will open by pressing forward on our thumbstick. Let's rename it, clicking in the top left, and we will call this one Respawn. At the top of the script it says, When World is Started. We can delete this code block since we do not have anything happen when the world starts. With your laser pointer, at when world is started, click and hold. Then pull down on your thumbstick to delete. Now we are ready to define when player will get teleported. For that, we will need an event. On the right, under player events, you will see when trigger is entered by player. Use your laser pointer to click and pull it to the left side. We know that this script will run on a trigger, so this event will fire whenever that trigger is entered by player. The next code block we need is Respawn Player. This can be found on the second tab from the left, Motion. And if we scroll down to Player Motion, we can move the Respawn Player code block to the left. When you see a white line under the event, you can release the code block. Our script is almost complete. We can now define who is being respawned and where to. On the When Trigger is Entered by Player event, you will notice that player is a green pill shape. This represents that player is entered the trigger whom we want to respawn. We can pull the player variable down into the empty pill slot that says player. Now we need to create an object variable to define where the player is going. On the top right is the Variables tab. Here we can click on New Variable. Let's name it Spawn. Then from the Type dropdown, we can select Object. Now click Confirm and the variable has been created. We can now drag our new spawn pill into the spawn event, replacing Self. Notice how Self is highlighted before letting go. This tells you where the variable will be placed. Now it says Respawn Player to Spawn. One more step and you will have finished your first script. Great work! Remember that trigger we put under our world? Open up the Properties panel at the bottom right. There is an Attach Script dropdown. Select Respawn to attach your script. Down below, you'll notice the object variable you created is listed as empty. This is where we will reference our spawn point. Open up the Properties panel of your world spawn point and using your laser pointer, click on the top to take the Properties panel with you. You can easily position the property panels next to each other using your thumbstick to resize and move the panel you are holding. See the blue spawn pill? Drag and drop that reference pill with your laser pointer into the area that says empty on your trigger. You will now see that it says spawn point, which means it is referenced properly. Let's jump off and make sure it works. Congratulations on making your first script. You can now use this script over and over again to teleport players by bringing out more triggers and more spawn points. Before moving on, consider trying it out by placing a trigger in the cave that teleports the player to the top of the mountain. Just make sure to turn off Spawn on Start on the new spawn point. Please note, if you select the cave trigger and mountain spawn point and duplicate them, the script will be automatically attached and reference the new spawn point. This can be incredibly useful if you are building waypoints around your world. And if you duplicate just the trigger, it will stay referenced to its spawn point. When you are ready, we are going to make a couple more scripts. We'll see you in the next one.